Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick video about Sony's announcement from earlier today, August 20th, 2020, in which they revealed that now 35 of their cameras will be usable as webcams using their Imaging Edge webcam software. Now, this is something that had been teased and we had been waiting for for quite some time. In fact, the ZV-1 that you see pictured here was even touted as having the functionality in a firmware at a later date, but it appears it's not going to be a firmware, but rather a download. Those of you that use Mac, you're out of luck. This is only going to support Windows 10, at least at this time. And uh, this was the press release from earlier today that I got via email uh, that specifically points out at least that at launch, it will be compatible with 35 cameras. You can see that right here. And uh, they specifically make mention of the A9 Mark II, the A9, the A7R4, A7R3, A7R2, A7S2, the A7S, the A7 III, the A7 II, the A6600, the A6400, the A6100, the RX100 Mark VII, the RX100 Mark VI, the RX0 Mark II, and the original RX0, and of course, the ZV-1, and the A7S III, which is, of course, just coming around the corner here. And essentially, what this piece of Windows software will let you do is, as I've mentioned, turn your camera into a webcam. So you will no longer need uh, something like a capture card and an Elgato Cam Link or any of the other uh, variants of that product that are less. And there's been a tremendous squeeze on the market for those type of products uh, since the pandemic uh, hit us in full swing. Uh, so essentially you're just going, I'll include the link to this page or rather the download link uh, in the description of this video. You're going to uh, click right where I just did, and it will take you, hopefully, to their Imaging Edge webcam software download page. And essentially, they're just reiterating that you have to make sure that it is compatible with your operating system of choice. It's not guaranteed to run on all PC configurations. And uh, as noted, uh, the environment must satisfy the requirements of the OS. And then you see right here the list of uh, E-mount cameras. So let's say I wanted to get my A7R2 set up or one of my RX100s. You then go ahead and click download and then you'll see it populate uh, in the lower left third there. The download, I've already downloaded this. And then you're just going to go ahead and open up and run the software. Go ahead and tell it next. Agree. And it will install. And then once it's done, essentially, you have to do a reboot, which I'm not going to do at this point. And then once you've rebooted, you're not going to have, from my understanding, a piece of software that literally is for using it as a webcam, but rather any application. So if you're using Skype, Zoom, whatever the video conferencing app is, or OBS for streaming, it will now recognize this in your device list. So you'll have to jump into the settings of those different applications and then select your Sony camera as the target capture device. But that pretty much rounds things out. This uh, seems like an insignificant thing, but I can't tell you how long I've waited to see Sony add this functionality. Other manufacturers began, so it was only a matter of time, especially once they did make it official uh, with the launch of the ZV-1 that they would be incorporating uh, net network capability, live streaming capability. So it's just great to see that they've added it now, as I've mentioned, to 35 models in total. Uh, a little curious why uh, cameras like the A6500 and A6300 were left out, but you know, nonetheless, this is critical. And I know there are many of you out there that as of today are going to begin using uh, your camera that is supported of those 35 models as your go-to webcam. Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.